My name is Matt Johansson. I work for Hortonworks in EMEA and uh, I'm responsible for solution engineering in the Nordic countries. And Hortonworks, uh, let's see, that one. Hortonworks. Hortonworks is a, a Hadoop pure player. That means that we are one of the founders of Hadoop one of the founding companies. We are a public company, noted on NASDAQ. We're the first public company who works only with Hadoop. Uh, we are founded 2011, so we are a fairly new company, just like five years old, soon, in May, I think. And uh, our founders were 22 architects from Yahoo, uh, which are really the company who invented Hadoop from the beginning starting like 2005 or something. Uh, we currently have 850 employees, we have 1,600 partners, and we are operating in 16 countries. And we are uh, really expanding a lot. And we are a public company as well, as I said. We are promoting Apache Hadoop software. That means open source software. So it's free software, and we're selling services, supporting services around this. Uh, today, every business is a data business, and if you, I, I assume you all know that because you're here, otherwise you wouldn't be here. <laughs> and you can see that nearly all compa companies today are digging into data in a lot of different ways. And you can e even see farmers down here doing data, like developing new crops and things like that. So this is really a data explosion out going on out there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like connected cars, we have oil and energy, music services, etc., etc. And if you're not a data company, you have to be it because your competitors are definitely a data company. And all new companies basically starting today are really into data. And with that, I don't mean like traditional BI just doing reporting and look at reports and things like that. Uh, but before you can be a real data company, you need to solve a couple of problems. First of thing, it's the four Vs, the various data types and the massive volumes. But that's the traditional big data problems, that we don't only have structured data types, now we have unstructured data types and we have pictures and we have videos and music files, etc, etc. And traditional systems are not very good handling those kind of things. Uh, another thing is that we, tra we have traditional silos. Data is in silos. In most organizations, we have data in silos today. Very few organizations have a, like a 360 view of everything of their business. And with that, I mean like we have here marketing, for example. And then we have, I don't know if I have a pointer. And then we have sales and we have manufacturing. And doing analytics over that means that we need to integrate. We do need to do a lot of integration. And that's very time consuming and costly and hard a lot of time. Especially if you think about those all different kinds of data. And the third big thing today is that we have data in motion. You want to do real-time decisions. And my presentation is, is a lot around that. Because data in mo in, to be able to do analytics and decisions on data in motion, you need to, traditionally you need to build like very complicated real-time solutions. But with Hortonworks, we have another solution. <laughs> Because if you centralize your data store on one central big data lake platform, for example, you can suddenly share data, you can <coughs> avoid integrations, and you can also do historical insights in a complete different way than you can do when you have those silos, small systems. And if you can catch the data in motion, you can also also do real-time decisions. And if you can combine those two things, 
you can start to do real actionable intelligence, as we call it. Because you can base your, base your real time decision on your historical insights. And when you do that, then you can start your real data journey. Like most of my customers today, see down here, they're renovating the road systems. And that means like saving costs on old traditional data warehousing systems, for example, or adding functionality for active archives, cold archives, and things like that. But to go up here and innovate things, you need to add more new technology, new architecture. You basically need to do a complete different kind of development than traditional BI, for example. Most customers are in the explore phase as well. Most organizations are out there. Out there, are there? This is more traditional BI. And to go from renovate to innovate, from explore to optimize to transform, over here you're transforming your business. Then you're finding new products. You see new patterns. And that's where we want to go. Build, based, building products based on data, which expands your business. And to do this journey, you need a new platform, basically. Most customers need. So therefore, we have connected platforms. Surprise. Connected data platforms is about catching the data in motion and also storing all the data, all historical data. We shouldn't throw away data because we don't know what we need tomorrow. And we have two platforms with this, Hortonworks Dataflow and the Hortonworks Data Platform. And both those platforms can handle all those different data types and they are scalable and can handle the volumes as well. So if I start to talk first about the Hortonworks data flow, which is data in motion, here, typical data in motion. This is the marketing picture of things. Easy, simple, we acquire data, it flows, we store it, and we analyze this. Very, very simple, <laughs> isn't it? But this is more the reality of a data flow. We acquire data everywhere, we store it everywhere as well. A lot of different silos, different storage. We have short-term data, we have long-term data, and we process it in a lot of different systems. So this is quite complicated, and this is just data in motion. This is not about building a data lake. And this takes time. And if this was not enough, we also have all those challenges with data in motion. Different protocols, different kind of data. Security multi-directional, so on, and sc scalability. I mean, catching data in motion is really complicated. So therefore, we came up, or actually NSA, surprise, Amer the American government agency, invented a product called Apache Nifi, which is the foundation for Hortonworks Data Plan, for HDF, which actually is a new product. And the purpose with HDF is to go from this complicated view of integrating data in motion to make it really simple. And I will not show you, but the target for HDF is to go from weeks, days, m hours to integrate real-time data to minutes. And you normally add real-time data in 10 minutes with HDF. From source, from the sensor, for example, on the machine. It takes 10 minutes. And if you don't believe me, I strongly suggest that you go to our website, download the product, install it on your laptop, and do it yourself. And I promise you, as it's the first time, it will take you 15 minutes to integrate the data. And another nice thing with HDF is you don't need it. HTTP, you don't need Hadoop. You can use it for integrating data into Oracle or to Mapbar, our competitor, or to Cloudera, another competitor. It works with basically all data sources and all targets just in 15 minutes. So this is very powerful. 
and it does this in real time. It's integrated. It's an integrated environment. It's a secure, secure environment, and it's adaptive. So what is this data flow thing? It, a data flow is actually, imagine we have a machine here, or a cashier machine, or, or anything down here. And here you have your huge server, data hall, data center. And the data flow is all the data which flows there. And typically, so you install HDF on the edges. If you have a store, you install data flow in the store. Basically, you can install the data flow component, the HDF component on everything which can carry a Java virtual machine. And then you can start collect data and store it or send it wherever you want in a secure way. And what also it's interesting, it handles data, but also context and commands. That means that you can communicate with the sensor as well. So for, a for example, a machine, if you receive some data from it in real time and say, hey, that's an error, something is wrong, you can shut it down. You send a command back. So this is not the normally traditional ETL tool, because you normally don't do that with ETL tools. And it's real time. So you can actually in real time bring up, bring up the interface, watch the data flow, stop things and change things in real time. And you can add data sources in real time. Or you can remove data sources in real time if they're not valuable anymore. And this is very, very useful from like a data science perspective or from a data elaboration pr perspective. You can dynamically adjust pipelines. Like imagine you get a network contention problem. Ah, then you prioritize your data just. Say, oh, errors are more important than just standard logs. So if an error comes, I, w I want to receive it. But the other one can wait. We don't drop the data, it just waits until you fix the network contention and it starts to send it. Do this automatically. Currently, we support 130 different sources and targets. So here we support like Microsoft Event Hub, Spark, Kafka, Elasticsearch, Hadoop, SQL databases, Amazon S3, Splunk, which is very popular in IT operations, and so on and so on. HL7 which f is a healthcare format. And there are tons of things. And this, we're adding like 50 processes for every release, basically. And this is open source. So it's the community out there who's adding the processes. It's not Hortonworks only. We support this. We give you enterprise support on it. It's graphical. So you don't have to program. It's not traditional like programming. So drag and drop. So you build your data flows by drag and drop. And you can also do provenance of the data. It's also graphical. Lineage of it. You just can just click, oh, what's happening here? Click, click, click. This is more like, like an ETL tool. But what's important to understand is that it's not an ETL tool. And it's not very good at doing huge transformations. This is about controlling the data flow. You can do filtering, you can do transformations, but not huge processes. And you can follow up the data in real time to see where did this data cam came from, which server, which cashier, on row level. It's also an integrated process. I mean, normally you have like ingest functions, you have scripts, and you have a messaging system, and so on. Those are like four different kind of systems. But with the data flow, you just have one system. So 
So this is about skills, basically. You need to have skills in the data flow. And as I said, it's very simple to use. More, it's secure. This is really important because it's enterprise ready. And then it has to be secure. Securing data flows is really complicated a lot of times. But with Hortonworks data flow, you get end-to-end -end security. That means it's connected to your AD, basically. So is Matt's allowed to use it? To do anything with this data flow? Yes or no? Yeah. You can also encrypt and decrypt the data flow. So not everyone can read it. And you can trace this in real time. It's also adaptable. I was talking about that before. But it's, it's automatically adjusting the pipeline. And of course, you can do it on demand as well. And it's scalable. Because it's just, you saw the GUI and think, oh, OK, I run this on a one server or something. But it's heavily scalable. And actually, NSA, they had 80,000 sources connected to this. So it can handle those huge volumes. And it has been in production there for eight years. So you just add cluster nodes. And that's not Hadoop clusters. It's data flow clusters, nodes. So 10, 15 minutes, you have your data, and you need to store it somewhere. So where do you store it? In Hadoop, of course. Hadoop is Hortonworks data platform. It's a Hadoop platform based on Apache Hadoop. 100% open source. Everything Hortonworks does is 100% open source. No proprietary software at all. We have a central architecture. It's interoperable. That's, this is very important. Why? Because you, most companies, organizations have a current infrastructure. A lot of different vendors, a lot of different servers and tools. We work with most of them. 1,600 partners, I mentioned. And we work with all major companies, like Microsoft, for example, is one of our biggest partners. So if you run HD Insight or Azure Data Lake, it's actually Hortonworks. Teradata Hadoop, Hortonworks. IBM Big Insight, Big Insight is based on something called ODPI, which is Hortonworks and so on. So we are everywhere. And it's enterprise ready. I mean, that's security. And the data platform is basically a lot of Hadoop components. At the left here, you have all your source systems. And in this case, we had HDFs there. So we have Hortonworks Dataflow sending the data into HDFS, for example, which is the file system. All those components are included in the platform. So we have components for the data flow, governance and integration, for accessing the data, for storing the data, data management, HDFS, for securing the data, and for operating it. And we do this independent on platform. We are platform agnostics. So if you run Windows or Linux, on-premise, doesn't matter. Cloud, we support all cloud providers. So you can run this in Google, Microsoft Cloud, Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. We really don't care about that. It's more a decision for you where you have your data center. And the center of this is Yarn, which is a data operating system. And here we have running a Hadoop cluster. It requires operations because big most Hadoop clusters have like 10, 20, 50 nodes, 100. You need to deploy those nodes. You need to install the software and so on. 
And that's today is like an automated process. GUI is it's not complicated. You typically install Hadoop like in two hour two hours on a four node cluster. And we have something called Ambari, which is the management console to handle this. It's graphical, it's point and click, no complicated, no doesn't require a lot of coding or configuration. It's out of the box. There is a tool called CloudBreak, which is for deploying this in the in the cloud. So you basically can take a copy of your cluster and deploy it somewhere else. Very useful if you have a lot of development and testing clusters, for example. Or if you want to have elastici elasticity in the cloud. We also provide something called SmartSense, which actually monitors your cluster and suggests changes to your configuration in real time. It doesn't apply the changes, it just suggests them. And that is actually based, we're using machine learning from that, from all our customers. So you get the experience from all our customers. From that. Governance, I mean, this is quite a fairly big data platform. It's basically infrastructure for storing all your data. And you need governance. You need metadata, which describes all the data, so you can find your data. And you need lineage. And we're using Apache Atlas and Apache Falcon. It's included in the platform, so we, there is lineage tools and governance tools included in the platform. And there are open interfaces, so those lineage tools, they work with other solutions like Informatica and so on. IBM's tools for governance. Security. There is a central security tool called Apache Ranger. We handle all users and all security, and independent of which components you're using in the platform. So you have one central administration tool for security. It's from the latest release, it also includes HDF. So you can use the same tools for managing security in HDF and HTTP, in data in motion, in data at rest. So you just have one central administration console for that. But the most important thing is you need to be able to access the data to get value out from it. And today, Hadoop is a lot about SQL. And <clears throat> the Hadoop data platform supports Apache Hive and Pivotal, Hawk. We don't see that very much, unfortunately. But they are very good SQL engines. But the main one is Hive. Hive is SQL 2011 compliant from the analytics view, so it's a real SQL tool. It has ACID transactions. So you can use your standard SQL stuff to use it. And it scales. We have customers running Hive on petabytes tables. And today, Hive is also in memory, so it's fairly fast. Hive and Hadoop have a history of uh, being more batch oriented, but today we see with the in memory function tests and things like that, we see a very, very high speed and it's much more interactive. We also supply Spark. And uh, today we are on the latest Spark release. We just released it just a couple of weeks ago with just 1.6. And Spark is very popular, it's very hot, it's cool. Spark is the shit to know if you want to work as a data science today. <laughs> it's very popular. Uh, what's good with Spark compared to Hive? Hive is SQL, so it's about structured data, basically. Uh, Spark is can handle all data, or a lot of it. So it can handle all data types. It's in memory, so it's very fast. It's based on Scala or Python or Java. So it doesn't require very much coding compared to traditional stuff. 
and it can handle streaming, it can handle Spark R, for example, handles R. So there is a lot of functionality. And with Waterworks, it's enterprise ready. That means it runs on Yarn, so you can use the whole cluster. So if you have four nodes or 200 nodes, you can use them all for Spark, if you want. And you get governance, you get security, and you get operations of it. And in the latest release, we also supply a notebook for Spark. So this is more like if you used to type data science no notebooks like IPython notebook or Jupyter. This is called Zeppelin. And it's included in the Hortonworks data platform. And here you can do SQL, you can do shell scripting, you can use Spark, Python, Java, etc., Scala. And very, very quickly do data science, prototyping, and things like that. This is a very popular data science tool in the Hadoop world. And it's not very complicated to start to use this. It's complicated to run 2,000 nodes, but running four or eight nodes, handling 50 terabytes of data, it's not very complicated, for example. It's not very complicated to start up Spark. So why Hortonworks? We partner with all your other vendors. You're really strong here. We are one of the founding members of ODPI, which is the Open Data Platform Initiative. That means that like, if you buy Hadoop from EMC or Pivotal or SAS, it's based on ODP, the Hadoop core. And that's the same, same core as Hortonworks delivers. And that makes it sure that it's compatible, it's open, it's not proprietary, you don't get vendor lock-in. So if you use Hadoop from one of those vendors, your data is not locked in. You can actually change platform, which is very important. It's about your data. And in the future, it, it will be the value. We're running the biggest Hadoop community on the internet. If you're currently on Hadoop, I strongly recommend you to join the Hortonworks community. It doesn't cost anything, it's for free. And today we have 4, 000, more than 4,000 members, and we have 15,000 unique visitors every week asking questions and getting answers. Very good place to be if you're new to Hadoop or want to solve your problems. We also, I mean, Hadoop is open source. So, and open source is uh, developed by the community out there. But there is something called committers in the open source world. And those are the people who decide what goes into the code and not. And Hortonworks is, have approximately like a third of all the Hadoop committers. And together with Yahoo, which is one of our biggest donors, we have nearly 45% of the Hadoop committers. So we are controlling Hadoop very good. And that's also one of the main reasons you should pick us.